So guys, after a long time I finally made the second part. I needed time to make this video because I had to find all the specs and numbers for each Alpina model. But before I start the video I wanted to say two things. First, you don't have to watch the full video. I have provided a map of the video in the description down below, when you can start watching the video from the part that you are interested on. The second thing is that I wanted to say that now I have a Patreon account. I had to create one because sometimes I have to buy books and documentaries to make these videos, since it is impossible to find information online. And these books are a little bit expensive for my budget, especially when the video doesn't get enough views at least to make the money back. I don't want to rip you guys off, so I try to make as good rewards as possible. So you can pledge one dollar or more and you would get one video plus one article both in the same style and quality as the videos that I upload here, and your name on the credits and the description of the video. So after that, let's start the video. Like I mentioned on the first video, the first car to carry the Alpina name was the BMW 1500, and soon after all the new class cars started having their own Alpina kit. Most of the Alpina kits of the mid 60s were put together by Burkhard Bovazipen himself, since he didn't have the capacity to hire more people. He would build cars time to time, but the majority of them were put together by the owners themselves. Besides selling their kits, Alpina also recommended different parts in order to gain as much power as possible. The thing they recommended the most was the gearbox. They suggested to replace the BMW 4 speed gearbox with a 5 speed in order to match the Alpina conversion. Also, brakes, tires, and steerings were recommended to improve the handling of the car. By the late 60s, they had started offering suspension upgrades and different styling modification, like front bumpers, fenders and their famous wheels. From the late 60s until 1974 Alpina offered a set of stickers, writing BMW Alpina. So guys, I wanted to clear this out, because the early Alpinas don't match to one another, both in style and performance. The new class or the new class was introduced in 1962 and is considered by many as a savor of BMW. The first car of the new class was the 1500, which came with a M10 engine, which would later on become a very important part of Alpina. After the 1500 came the 1800, which also was a four door sedan. In 1964 came the 1600 and in 1966 the top of the range of the sedans, the 2000. In 1965 the first coupe, the 2000C, was introduced, and later on the 2000CS. The new class were produced until 1977, where the sedans were replaced by the first generation 5 series and the coupes by the A9. Like I mentioned before, the new class saved BMW. Until 1962 they had reported only losses, and they managed to break even only after they introduced the 1500. When the production ended in 1977, BMW had produced a total of 337,596 cars. So let's start with car that created Alpina. First, the 1500 was a quite impressive car for the time, 80 horsepower and 87 pound-foot of torque. This helped the car to reach a top speed of 148 km per hour and to reach 100 in 15 seconds 
which wasn't that bad for the 1960s sedan. But the Alpina conversion offered 89 horsepower, a top speed of 160 km per hour and an acceleration time of 13.1 seconds. These were very good numbers, very similar with numbers of the 1800, but there was only one problem, the price. This conversion started at 980 Deutschmarks, when the 1800 costed only 500 Deutschmarks, more than the 1500. But the sales immediately increased after 1964, when the 1500 was discontinued. The 1800 was introduced in 1963, as a more powerful version of the 1500. Like I mentioned before, the new class used the M10 engine, which, from the beginning, was developed with the possibility to be tuned in the future. This made it very easy for Alpina to adapt their kits from one car to another. Originally, when the 1800 came out, it was packed with a 1773cc engine, but later on, was changed to 1766 cc. The 1800 had 90 horsepower, a top speed of 163 km per hour and an acceleration time of 30 seconds. After receiving the Alpina kit, the power increased to 111 horsepower and the top speed at 177 km per hour and the acceleration time went from 13 seconds to 10.2 seconds. This conversion also worked with Alpina 800 Ti, which had 180 horsepower, acceleration time of 11 seconds and a top speed of 175 km per After the Alpina kit, the power went to 123 horsepower, the top speed to 183 km per and the acceleration time to 10 seconds. The 1500 was replaced by the 1600 in 1964, which came with the 1573cc version of the M10. The 1600 had 81 horsepower, a top speed of 155 km/h, and could accelerate from 0 to 100 in 14 seconds. In 1966, a 83 horsepower version of the 1600 was introduced, known as the 1602. This was part of the O2 model range, which were basically the 3 series of the time, but more about that later. In 1967 came an even more powerful version of the engine, with 103 horsepower, known as the 1600 Ti. Alpina started selling kits for the 1600 immediately after the car was introduced. They used the same twin Weber setup that they used for the 1500 and the 1800, which increased the power to 103 horsepower. In 1967, they introduced the 1602 Special. Besides the carburetors, they also replaced the 264 degree camshaft with a 300 degree Roa type camshaft. The power output was at 112 horsepower at 60 to 100 rpm. The top speed was at 183 km/h and could hit 100 in 9.6 seconds. The only problem with this conversion was the price, since it cost 2000 Deutschmarks, when the 1602 started at 8000 Deutschmarks. But in the end it was well worth, since the 1602 Special was even faster than the 1600 Ti. Talking about the Ti, Alpina also built a version of it which received the same treatment as the 1600 Special. The power output was at 138 horsepower, at 7200 rpm and 114 pound-foot of torque at 5000 rpm. The acceleration went down to 8 seconds and the top speed went up to 200 km per hour. The last version of the 1600 came in the 70s, when BMW reintroduced the engine for the newly released 1502, which had 93 horsepower at 6200 rpm and 94 pound foot of torque at 4000 rpm. Yeah. For the 2 liter M10, Alpina started using Weber 45 DCOA carburetors instead of the 40 DCOA that they had been using for the previous cars. This conversion increased the power to 111 horsepower and 123 pound-foot of torque. This conversion costed 11,000 Deutschmarks, 
but if you wanted more power, the Alpina 2000 CS was the answer for you, which had 143 horsepower. This kit was also offered for the sedan, which increased the top speed to 200 km per hour and lowered the acceleration time to 10 seconds. The O2 class was presented in 1966, when the 1602 was presented. These cars were based on the shortened version of the new class sedans. The O2s were cheaper than the new class. In 1977 the O class was replaced by the 3 series. The A1 was based on a 2002. Alpina replaced the single 38 PDSi carburetor with a pair of Solex 40 DDH carburetors. These changes increased the power output to 113 horsepower at 5800 rpm and 123 pound-foot of torque at 4000 rpm. Thanks to the additional power, the top speed was increased to 190 km per hour and the acceleration time was lower to 80.9 seconds. The A1 was offered as a fully converted car and had a starting price of 15,350 Deutschmarks. The A1 was followed by the A2, which was introduced one year later, in 1969. Differently from the A1, which had just received a pair of carburetors, the A2 had also received a 300 degree camshaft, 39mm inlaid valves, hemispheric combustion chambers and the forked pistons. All these changes brought the power up to 157 horsepower at 6600 rpm and 108 pound foot of torque at 5000 rpm. The A2 had an impressive top speed of 200 km per hour and an acceleration time of 80 seconds. The starting price for a fully converted A2 was 17,500 Deutschmarks, almost double the price of the standard 2002, which had a starting price of 9,500 Deutschmarks. The A3 engine were very similar with the A2s. The main difference is that they were for foreign markets. The A4 received more changes compared to the, her predecessors. Alpina enlarged the exhaust valves to 39mm, modified the cylinder heads, replaced the camshaft with a 300 degree high lift one and modified the exhaust manifold which was matched to with an Alpina exhaust system. All these changes increased the power output to 153 horsepower and the torque to 143 pound foot of torque. The A4 had an impressive top speed of 214 km per hour and could hit 100 in 7.4 seconds. The A4S was basically an even more powerful version. Instead of the 300 degree camshaft, the A4S had a 320 degree one and a new sets of pistons. Thanks to this improvement, the A4S had 187 horsepower and 151 pound foot of torque at 5500 rpm. The price for A4S was 40,000 Deutschmarks. The A4 was followed by the A5, which had 170 horsepower, fuel injected engine, with a top speed of 200 km per hour. If the new class saved BMW, the A3 and the A9 created the identity of BMW that we are so familiar today. Introduced in 1968, the A3 and the A9 came with a BMW M30 six-cylinder engine. And this is where Alpina started using the B letter for the car, since until then they had used the letter A for the M10 four-cylinder engines. The first Alpina M30 was introduced in 1969, known as the B1, which was based on the 2788cc engine, which was the largest version of the M30 back then. Alpina applied the same techniques that they had been using for the M10 engines, 300 degree faster rod camshaft and the twin Solex 4045DDH carburetors. Also, Alpina replaced the triple hemispherical combustion chambers with normal hemispherical chambers. All these changes increased the power to 197 horsepower from 168 horsepower 
and the torque from 171 pound-foot of torque to 191 pound-foot of torque. Thanks to this additional power, the B1 could reach a top speed of 220 km per hour, and the acceleration time was reduced from 10 seconds to 8 seconds. The B2 was introduced in 1972 and was based on the 3 liter M30 engine, which was founded on the 3.0 CS. The B2 received similar treatment like the B1. Thanks to these changes, the power was increased from 198 horsepower to 226 horsepower, and the torque was increased to 200 pound foot of torque. The B2 had a top speed of 235 km/h, when the 3.0 CS had a top speed of 213 km per hour and could hit 100 in 7.3 seconds, when the stock car needed 9 seconds. The B2 was developed into a second stage, and this car was known as the B2S. Differently from the B2, the capacity of the B2S was increased to 3020cc. Also, the Bosch fuel injection system was replaced with a Kugelifscher mechanics. The rest of the changes were similar with the changes that the B2 received. Thanks to this, the B2S had 243 horsepower, 222 pound-foot of torque and a top speed of 245 km per hour, and could reach 100 in 6.4 seconds. These were even better specs than the 3.0 CSL had. The B3 was available from 1973 and was the replacement for the 3OS TSI and had received the typical Alpina treatment. The power output was increased from 197 horsepower to 243 horsepower. In 1971, the same B1 engine that was used for the A9 was used for the A3 saloon. The power was increased from 168 horsepower to 198 horsepower. The top speed was 219 km per hour, compared to the 200 km per hour that the A3 had. The 0 to 100 time dropped from 10 seconds to 7.9 seconds. The B1 A3 options probably were similar with options of the A9. And the base price for the A3 B1 was 27,300 Deutschmarks, when the base price for the A3 was 19,400 Deutschmarks. The same things were applied for the B3 A3, which was available from 1973 and was based on the 3.0 SI. Two other models that were available were the B4 and the B6, but not much information exists about these cars. But from what I have found, looks they that probably were more fuel efficient and budget friendly models. Probably were built as a response to the oil crisis of the 70s. The A12 is the first generation 5 series. So, it's definitely a very important car for BMW. Introduced in 1972, the A12 replaced the new class. The A12 came with four different engines, with four-cylinder M10, six-cylinder M20, six-cylinder M30, and with the M90 straight six, which was available for the M535i. The A12 was discontinued from production in 1981. Now let's talk about the Alpina versions. The earliest A12 Alpinas came with a M10 engine. Most of them came with a very similar engine with a A4. They would also tune some straight six engines, but nothing really special. The big change only came in 1979, when BMW presented the M535i. So the B2, B3, B4, B5, B6 and B8 were introduced. The B2 was based on the 525 and 528, giving 228 horsepower and 6800 RPM and 191 pound foot of torque at 5500 rpm. The B2 had a top speed of 228 km per hour and could hit 100 in 6.9 seconds. The B4 used a similar engine with an A3 and an A9 and boosted 228 horsepower, but this time came with triple Weber carburetors. The B5 and B6 were more budget friendly cars with less power. The B8s were, were more powerful, since they were powered by the 3.2 liter engine, but the best Alpina versions of the A12 
was the B7 Turbo and the B7S Turbo. The B7 Turbo is uh, also a very important car for Alpina since it was the first turbocharged Alpina and turbocharging would be a very important part for them and some of their best cars were turbocharged. The B7 was based on the 3 liter M30 engine and the reason for that was its shorter stroke was better suited for turbocharged installation. Alpina added a variable boost control to control the effect of the turbocharger and to safeguard the engine if poor quality petrol was used the driver could reduce the boost to its minimum and 0.5 bar when the B7 produced 238 horsepower. When the boost was turned to its maximum to 0.9 bar the engine produced 295 horsepower. All this power helped the B7 Turbo to reach 100 in 5.9 seconds and to have a top speed of 263 km per hour, making it the fastest sedan on the world. The B7 was offered only as a complete car, so no kits were available. Also, the typical 70s Alpina bodyworks were part of the B7, like the new front spoiler together with a rubber lip spoiler. The asking price for the B7 Turbo was 60,000 Deutschmarks. The B7S Turbo was an even more powerful version of the B7, but differently from the B7, the B7S used a 3.5 liter M30 instead of the 3 liter one that the B7 had. So the B7S had 30 horsepower more compared to the B7. Like the B7, the S had a variable boost control. The asking price for the B7S was 75,000 Deutschmarks and only 60 cars were built from November 1981 to May 1982. The A21 is the first generation 3 series and replaced the O2 series. Originally the A12s came with carburetor M10 engines. But later on BMW introduced fuel injected M10s and also introduced the M20 powered A21s. The third and the A2 the third were nothing special. The A1 was based on the 320 and had received new carburetors, which increased the power from 107 horsepower to 118 horsepower. The top speed was at 181 km per hour and the acceleration time to 9.7 seconds. The A2 had received similar treatment, just this time, beside of the new carburetors, the engine also had received a new camshaft. The A2 had 148 horsepower, top speed of 204 km per hour and the acceleration time of 8.5 seconds. The A2S was only available for export but apparently had more power. The A2S boosted 163 horsepower and had a top speed of 210 km per hour and could hit 100 in 8.1 seconds. The A4 third was a little bit different since it was based on the 320i, which meant that it was fuel injected. Alpina used Kugel Liefscher fuel injection system, a 800 degree camshaft new pistons and modified the cylinder head. The power was increased from 123 horsepower to 158 horsepower and the torque went from 126 pound foot of torque to 132 pound foot of torque. The A4S the third, like the previous S Alpinas was available only for export and like with the previous cars was more powerful than the German counterpart. The engine produced 172 horsepower at 6800 rpm and had a top speed of 212 km per hour and acceleration time of 7.8 seconds. The B6 2.8 was powered by the straight 6 M30 engine. The decision of BMW to stop using the 4 cylinder M10 engine left Alpina with no other choice besides using one of the engines that they had in production. Originally the engine produced 168 horsepower, but after the Alpina treatment the power went to 216 horsepower, the top speed to 230 km per hour and the acceleration time to 7 seconds. The B6 2.8 came with a front spoiler, a rubber boot lid and uh, with a sunroof, which was standard for all Alpinas. Inside uh, had some changes. 
skill bucket seats and a new steering wheel. The price of the B6 2.8 was 45,000 Deutschmarks. The C1 2.3 was introduced in 1980 and was the first Alpina to use the letter C, which was used for the M20 engines. The C1 was a budget Alpina and for a number of years was the cheapest Alpina you could buy, with a starting price of 38,000 Deutschmarks. The C1 wasn't very powerful, boosting only 168 horsepower at 6000 rpm and 213 pound foot of torque at 4500 rpm. The top speed was at 208 km per hour and the acceleration time at 7.9 seconds. Even though the performance numbers were low, thanks to the price, Alpina sold over 400 C1 2.3s. Introduced in 1976, the A24 is the first 6 series and was the third series introduced by BMW in the 70s and replaced the A9. Differently from the A9, the A24 was bigger and more luxurious. Now the car was more like a proper Grand Tour. This was the perfect car for Alpina because they could introduce all sorts of models with different prices. The A24 was produced between 1977 and 1989, and through its long life more than 80,000 cars were built. Not bad for a car like this. The first N24 Alpina was the B8, and was based on the 633 CSI. The 3210cc M30 engine produced 236 horsepower which was a great improvement to the 194 horsepower that the 633 CSI had. The top speed of the B8 was 231 km per hour and had an acceleration time of 6.8 seconds. The B2 was the second A24 introduced by Alpina. The B2 had similar specs with the B8, but the main difference was that the B2 was based on the 630 CS. The B7 Turbo Coupe and the B7 Turbo S Coupe had basically the same specs as the, B as the A12 B7 Turbos. The only difference was that the A24s could hit 100 faster and 5.7 seconds for the B7 and 5.4 seconds for the B7S. The B9 3.5 was introduced in 1982 as a cheaper and a more affordable A24 Alpina that could go faster than the 635 CSI. Originally, the car was powered by the 3453cc M30 engine, but only two cars were built with this engine. The rest were powered by the 3430cc engine. The B9 3.5 had a top speed of 245 km/h and had an acceleration time of 6.9 seconds. The production of the B9 3.5 stopped around 1985. And the main reason for that was the M635 CSI, which offered more power for less money. Alpina introduced the second generation B7 Turbo in 1984, one year later after the B7 A28 was introduced. Differently from the first generation, the second generation B7 used the 3430cc engine. The new B7 boosted the same power output as the old B7S Turbo, 326 horsepower, but, but the B7 was faster, at 257 km per hour, and was more torquey, at 377 pound foot of torque. In 1987, Alpina introduced the B7 Turbo Coupe Cut, which was equipped with catalytic converters. The cut version had less power at 317 horsepower and didn't more time to reach 100 at 6.1 seconds, but had a higher top speed at 167 horsepower. The B10 3.5 was the replacement for the B9 3.5 as a budget A24 Alpina. Nothing really special about this car, basically the same thing as the B9 3.5, with the main difference being the power output. 
The B10 had 20 horsepower more compared to the B9 3.5. Alpina decided to discontinue the B10 in 1997. The A28 was introduced in 1981 and replaced the A12. The weird thing about the A28 is that it had a really short life. The A28 was in production for only 6 years. A very short time, especially for a car like this. The first A28 Alpina came right after the car was introduced and came with the same B9 3.5 engine that later was used for the A24, which had 242 horsepower at 5000 rpm and 235 pound foot of torque at 4000 rpm. The B9 A28 had a top speed of 245 km per hour and an acceleration time of 6.8 seconds. Something that really helped the B9 with the speed was the body kit, which was tested at BMW's wind tunnel. The drag efficiency was reduced by 9% which increased the top speed with 9.6 km per hour. The B9 had a starting price of 71,000 Deutschmarks and a total of 86 cars were built from 1981 to 1983. After 1983 the B9 came with a 3430cc engine, which had the same specs and performance numbers as the 3453cc B9. The starting price for this car was 74,000 Deutschmarks. The B9 was finally discontinued in 1985, after 414 cars were built. The A28 B7 Turbo was introduced in 1983 and came with a 3430cc engine, the same engine which later was used on the second generation A24 B7 Turbo. Differently from the A24, the A28 B7 Turbo had less power, but this didn't affect the performance numbers, since the A28 was lighter than the A24. The A24 B7 Turbo was the fastest sedan of the time, with a top speed of 266 km per hour, and had an acceleration time of 5.9 seconds. In 1986 a cut version was introduced, which had 20 horsepower more than the non-cut version, but the top speed and the acceleration time were the same. The starting price for the B7 Turbo was 81,000 Deutschmarks and a total of 278 cars were built, when 42 of them were cut B7s. The B10 3.5 was introduced in 1985 and was based on the 535i. The B10 replaced the B9. The B10 had 258 horsepower, a top speed of 250 km per hour and an acceleration time of 6.6 .6 seconds. Some B10 3.5s were built by Seitner in UK. Differently from the cars built in Buhol, these cars were based on the M535i, which made them faster and more powerful. The B2 2.8 was available only in UK. The car was basically a budget Alpina and was based on the B28i. The B2 2.8 came with Alpina body kit, Alpina suspension, Alpina wheels, deco stripes and Alpina exhaust system, which helped the B2 2.8 to gain 8 additional horse horsepower. The engine was left untouched, so the top speed and the acceleration time were the same. The A30 is one of the best BMWs of all time and a car that changed BMW forever. Plus it's the car that made motorsport the motorsport we know today. Alpina offered a wide range of A30s. All the A30 Alpinas came with different 36 engines, a completely different approach from BMW, which on the top of the range car, the M3, used the S14 4-cylinder engine. The C1 2.3 was the first Alpina A30 and used the same uh, engine as the A821 C1 2.3. The C1 2.3 wasn't the best Alpina out there, especially when it came to performance. 
the Z1 came with a standard 323i 5 speed overdrive gearbox and with new Alpina suspension and dampers. And of course, the Alpina body kits, wheels, and with a new interior. The Z1 2.3 had only 167 horsepower, which wasn't the best, especially when BMW reintroduced the 323i with 150 horsepower. So the C1 2.3 was discontinued only after 35 cars. But the C1 was just a holding operation, while Alpina prepared the B6 2.8. The B6 2.8 came with the M30 engine, the same engine that the A21 B6 2.8 used, but in this car in a different state of tune. It had a Borsch LE Jetronic engine management system, and of course other Alpina treatment like new lighter pistons, modifying cylinder heads and the new camshaft. All of this increased the power to 208 horsepower at 6100 rpm and 199 pound foot of torque at 5000 rpm. The B6 2.8 had a top speed of 230 km per hour and an acceleration time of 6.9 seconds. The B6 3.5 was introduced in 1995 as the top of the range A30, packed with a 3430cc straight 6 engine, the B6 3.5 had 260 horsepower at 6000 rpm and 254 pound foot of torque at 4000 rpm. Combining the power output with the weight of the A30, the B6 3.5 had a top speed of 253 km per hour outperforming the B10 3.5 and had similar specs with the B7 Turbo. One year later, in 1986, the cut version was introduced. The B6 3.5 cut had less power than the non-catalytic version, with 252 horsepower at 1500 rpm and 236 pound foot of torque at 4000 rpm. The B6 3.5 cut needed 6.3 seconds to reach 100 and had a top speed of 248 km per hour. The price for the B6 3.5 was 77,000 Deutschmarks. Also in 1985, Alpina introduced the C2 2.5, which replaced the C1 2.3, as the budget A30. The C2 2.5 came with a M20 2494cc engine. But Alpina used the 323i crankshaft and new pistons, which increased the capacity to 2554cc, even though some might have come with 2494cc engines. The C2 2.5 was available with three standard BMW gearboxes, 5-speed overdrive, 5-speed close ratio and 5-speed automatic. Since the C2 2.5 was considered as the budget Alpina, the specs weren't the best, at least for Alpina standards. The engine produced 182 horsepower and 252 pound foot of torque. The performance depended on the gearbox. The close ratio managed to reach 100 in 6.7 seconds, but the overdrive could reach a higher top speed of 228 km per hour. The C2 2.7 was presented in 1986 and was the car that was between the C2 2.5 as an end of the B6 3.5. Alpina created a program in the mid 80s when they would introduce a new A30 model every year and the C2 2.7 was part of this program. The car was based on the 325i but used the 2693cc engine. The C2 2.7 had 208 horsepower, making it way more powerful than the 325i, and even more powerful than the, the M3, which had 197 horsepower. The top speed was at 231 km per hour, and the acceleration time at 7.3 seconds. All the other things were similar with the uh, other A A30 Alpinas, besides the cabriolet and the touring, which had some other options due to the body style and the weight. The B6 3.5S was based on the A30 M3, but differently from the M, the 3.5S used the 3.5 liter straight 6 M30 engine, instead of the 2.3 liter straight 4 S14 engine. 
the 3.5S had 250 horsepowers at 6000 rpm and 236 pound foot of torque at 4000 rpm. To reach 100, the 3.5S needed 5.9 seconds and could reach a top speed of 255 km per hour, way better performance uh, output at the M30. Only 62 3.5S were built. The B6 uh, 5S costed 99,000 Deutschmarks. The C1 2.5 was introduced in 1985, and the reason why Alpina added another car to their C line was that in 1985 BMW discontinued the 323i in favor of the 325i, so Alpina had no other choice, besides switching from the 2.3 liter engine to the 2.5 liter one. The power output was at 187 horsepower at 6100 rpm and 173 pound-foot of torque at 5000 rpm, the top speed at 222 km per hour and the acceleration time at 7.2 seconds. The B3 2.7 was the same car as the C2 2.7, but Alpina started using the letter B instead of the C after the poor sales. These changes were made in Germany only, since the cars built in UK and Australia still used the letter C. And this worked. Alpina sold 257 B3 2.7, making it the most successful Alpina i30. There were also two Alpina kits offered by Steitner in UK. The first one was called Alpina 3, and was the douchebag pack, since offered only the Alpina look, with the body kit and the branding. This pack costed £2,500. For £100 more you could get the performance pack, known as the Alpina Sport Pack 325i. This kit offered the Alpina camshaft, Alpina engine management system and the Alpina exhaust system. These changes increased the power output to 190 horsepower, 20 horsepower more than the 325i. The first generation server series was the A23, which replaced the A3 in 1977, and was meant to go against the S-Class of the Mercedes and the XJ of the Jaguar, but of course with being more sporty. The A23 was produced for 10 years, until 1987, when was replaced by the A32, and the Alpina 7 series of the 80s showed how different they were from other tuners, when everybody was making luxury sedans with crazy body kits and ridiculous interiors, they stick to their style, with making quality cars. The first Alpine i23 was the B11 3.5, not much is known about this car, besides the fact that it was built by Seitner in UK. The B11 3.5 had the same engine as the B9 3.5, found on the A28 and the A24. Like with the B11, I couldn't find much information about this car also, but used the same engine as the B10 A28. The power output was at 258 horsepower and 5800 rpm, the top speed at 233 km per hour and the acceleration time at 6.8 seconds. The A32 replaced the A23 in 1987, and the change was amazing. The A32 was a much, much better car, a car that could easily go against the S-Class. This was also a good thing for Alpina, because they now had a better base, especially with the introduction of the M70 V12 engine. First Alpina A32 was introduced immediately after A32 went into production. The B11 3.5 was based on the 735i, which had the 3430cc engine. The top speed was increased to 248 hour, and the acceleration time was, was reduced to 7.5 seconds, compared to the 8.3 seconds that the 735i needed. The B11 3.5 was in production for one year only, in 1987, and a total of 111 cars were built. The cut B11s had less power, 
but the performance numbers were very similar. The base price for the B11 was 88,000 Deutschmarks. Alpina introduced the new B11 3.5 in 1987. The main difference was that now also cars were with catalytic converters, since they were mandatory in West Germany. Alpina worked to make the car a little bit more powerful than the previous B11 3.5 cut. The new model produced 254 horsepower at 6000 rpm. The top speed and the acceleration time were the same. The B11 3.5 was in production for 6 years and a total of 221 cars were built. But the coolest A32 Alpina came in 1988. The B12 5.0 was based on the 750i, which had the newly developed BMW M70 V12 engine. The B12 5.0 was the most expensive Alpina of the time, with a base price of 139 Deutschmarks. But everything was worth it. The B12 produced 348 horsepower, which was a big improvement compared to 295 horsepower and 331 pounds foot of torque that the 750i had. To achieve this, Alpina used bigger valves, higher lift camshaft, and raised the compression ratio. Also, Alpina modified the Bosch Motronic management modules, since the top speed was limited to 250 km/h. Thanks to this, the B12 5.0 had a top speed of 275 km/h and could reach 100 in 6.9 seconds. Alpina also modified the 4-speed ZF automatic gearbox of the 750i to allow more positive gear shifts. The stylistic changes included the typical Alpina options like front and rear bumper Alpina deco set and the much wider multi-spoke Alpina wheels. The interior had leather sport seats with Alpina green and blue striping and Alpina 4-spoke steering wheel. Even though the B12 5.0 had a very high price, Alpina sold 305 cars, making it the most popular A32 Alpina. The last A32 was the B11 4.0, which used the new BMW M60 V8 5-liter engine. The car was in production for only one year, from 1993 to 1994, and a total of 77 cars were built. The power was increased from 282 horsepower to 310 horsepower, and the torque from 295 pound foot of torque to 302 pound foot of torque. The top speed of the B11 4.0 was 261 per hour, and the acceleration time at 7.1 seconds. The third generation 5 series was introduced in 1987 and like with the A32 and the A24 managed to become an instant success. In my opinion this is the best 5 series of all time. This was the truly golden age of BMW. All the cars that they presented in the late 80s and early 90s were just amazing and this really helped Alpina to build some true great cars. The first Alpina A34 was the B10 3.5, which was based on the 535i and was introduced in 1988. The engine produced 250 horsepower, but the UK model produced 257 horsepower. The reason for this was that the German B10 3.5 came with catalytic converters. Alpina replaced the BMW pistons with lighter Machle pistons. Alpina also fitted high performance camshaft and modified the cylinder heads, and a more efficient tubular steel exhaust mainfall was added. All these changes increased the power output to 250 horsepower at 6000 rpm. The B10 3.5 could reach a top speed of 252 km/h and could hit 100 in 7.4 seconds. But the best A34 Alpina, and definitely one of the best Alpinas of all time, came in 1988. The B10 Biturbo is also a very important car for Alpina, since it's the first Biturbo Alpina. The Biturbo was based on the 535i and was built to celebrate Alpina's 25th anniversary. 
the 3430 cc engine was packed with two turbos now. In typical Alpina fashion, the turbos had a manually variable boost control, which gave 6 psi on their minimum and 12 psi on their maximum. To suit the turbos, the compression ratio was lowered by using lightweight pistons. And minimum boost, the engine produced 295 horsepower. But when the boost control was turned up to the maximum, the bike turbo delivered 355 horsepower at 6000 rpm and 383 pound foot of torque at 4000 rpm. The bike turbo came with a special built Getrack manual gearbox. So bike turbo was the fastest sedan in the world back then, with a top speed of 290 km per hour and could reach 100 in 5.6 seconds. All the other things were the same as the other 834 Alpinas. Even though the bike turbo was a very expensive car at 143,000 Deutschmarks, Alpina managed to sell more than 500 bike turbos. The BTM 4.0 was introduced in 1993 and was based on the top of the range 540i. The BTM 5.0 was the first Alpina car to, with a V8 engine, since the BTM 4.0 was introduced one month before the A32 B11 4.0. The car retained the 3982 cc engine, but in typical Alpina fashion the engine was rebuilt in order to gain more power. The BTM 4.0 had 310 horsepower and 302 pound foot of torque. These were huge gains. Less than 50 BTM 4.0s were built, and a small portion of them were wagons. The B10 3.C Allrad was presented in 1993 and was available as a wagon and a sedan. The car was based on the 525iX, but used a 3-liter Alpina engine, which was based on the 2.5-liter M20 engine. The engine produced 228 horsepower at 5800 rpm and 310 pound-foot of torque at 4600 rpm. Thanks to the four-wheel drive system, the B10 for 3.0 all-road had a better acceleration time than the B10 4.0. A total of 134 B10 3.0s were all-roads were built, when 70 of them were estates, probably due to the four-wheel drive system. In order to gain more power, Alpina decided to increase the displacement of the 4.0 M60 engine. The displacement was raised to 4,619 cc. Thanks to this, the power went to 335 horsepower and 5,700 rpm, and the torque to 354 pound-foot of torque and 3,900 rpm. To reach 100, the 4.6 needed 6.1 seconds and could reach a top speed of 275 km per hour. These were very similar numbers with the M5 but the M5 could reach 100 faster. The B10 4.6 started at 130,000 Deutschmarks for the saloon and 136 Deutschmarks for the wagon. The B10 4.6 is a very rare car, since only 46 cars were built. <laughs> I have talked before about the Alpina RLA on my story of the Z1 video. The Z1 is one of the weirdest and strangest cars ever and of course one of the coolest. Originally the Z1 came with a 2.5 liter M20 engine, which produced 168 horsepower. Alpina increased the displacement to 2693 cc, creating this way a 195 horsepower engine. Thanks to this additional power, the RLA reached 100 in 2 seconds quicker than the standard Z1, which needed 9 seconds. The top speed now was at 231 km per hour, when the standard Z1 had a top speed of 220 km per hour. Besides the engine, not much was changed, and the reason for that was the plastic body of the Z1. <laughs> The 
The A31 8 series was presented in 1989, when it replaced the long-serving A24 6 series. The A31 not only was completely different from the car that it had replaced, but also completely different from all the BMWs of the time. The A31 was discontinued in 1999, which is a very long life for a car like this, and a total of 30,621 cars were built. The A31 A series is definitely one of the coolest cars of all time. It's one of those cars that we are really going to miss in the future. But even cooler than the BMW A31s are the Alpina A series, so let's talk about them. The first Alpina A31 came in 1990 and was produced until 1994, and was based on the 850i or the 850csi, which used the same engine as the A32-750i. So Alpina did the same thing, and took the version of the M70B50 engine, which they had already tuned for the A32 B12 5.0, and used it for the B12 5.0 A31. The power was increased from 296 horsepower to 355 horsepower, and the torque from 331 pound foot of torque to 346 pound foot of torque. The A31 was a heavy car, since it was more like a Grand Tour rather than being a sport car that would achieve crazy speeds. To achieve 100, the A50i needed 8 seconds for the forward speed ZF automatic and 7.5 seconds for the 6 speed over dry Getrag automatic gearbox, and top speed was 255 km per hour. All the Alpina improvements increased the top speed to 280 km per hour and lowered the acceleration time to 6.9 seconds. The car also came with other Alpina changes like new body kits, complete with a deco set, Alpina multi-spoke wheels and the interior changes. The B12 5.0 was priced at 210,000 Deutschmarks, and a total of 35 cars were built. The introduction of the 850 TSI made the B12 5.0 less appealing to the customers. The 5.7 liter engine produced 375 horsepower, 30 more than the B12 5.0. So in 1992, Alpina introduced the B12 5.7 which came with, a, with its own Alpina built 5.7 liter engine, based on the 5 liter engine that they had used for the B12 5.0 coupe. The top speed was at 300 km per hour now, and the acceleration time at 5.8 seconds. The B12 5.7 came with a 6 speed Getrag manual gearbox, with the ability of the Shift Tronic option. All the other options were basically the same as the B12 5.0. The price of the B12 5.7 was 270,000 Deutschmarks, almost 90,000 Deutschmarks more than the 850 TSI. A total of 76 cars were built from 1992 to 1996. The third generation 3 series was presented in 1990 and is quite important in the 3 series lineup. Since, differently from the A21 and the A30, the A36 was built primarily as a four-door saloon. This was done because of the huge su success of the A30 saloon. Originally, the car was presented as a sedan and later on in 1992 was followed by the coupe. In 1993 came the convertible and the hatchback, and with a Wego version coming in 1994. The M3 was introduced in 1992, and was packed with a straight 6 S63 liter engine, which produced 286 horsepower. and in 1995 the same car was introduced in America, but with 240 horsepower. In 1995 the 3 liter engine was replaced by the 3.3 liter S50 engine, which had 316 horsepower. The A36 was discontinued in 2000. Differently from the other Alpinas, which typically were introduced the same year that the BMW presented a new model, the first A36 Alpina only came in 1992, two years after the car was introduced. The number one reason for that is that at the time Alpina was still building the A30s. The B6 2.8 was the first A36 Alpina, and was based on the 325i. The A36 2.8 continued on the lines of the A30 B6 
but differently from the A30, the A36 had a new engine, developed by Alpina. This engine was based on the 2.5 liter M50, but the displacement was increased to 2752 cc. This engine had 236 horsepower at 5 and 216 pound foot of torque. The B6 2.8 had the top speed of 250 km per hour and had an acceleration time of 6.9 seconds, the same as the American M3. The B6 2.8 costed 92,000 Deutschmarks and was built for only one year, from 1992 to 1993, and a total of 136 cars were built. The B6 2.8 was followed by the B3 3.0, which came in 1993. Like the B6, the engine of the B3 was based on the 2.5 liter M50 engine, which again was enlarged to 2997cc. The power output now was at 246 horsepower, M5700 RPM, and 236 pound foot of torque at 4400 RPM. The additional power did not change much to the performance of the car. The top speed was at 258 km per hour and the acceleration time at 6.8 seconds. The first Alpine i36 that went head to head with the M3, at least in terms of performance, was the B84.0, which was introduced in 1994. The B84.0 came with a came with a 4 liter M60 V8 Alpine engine the same engine that the B11 4.0 used. The 3982cc engine produced 311 horsepower and 302 pound foot of torque. The acceleration time was the same as the M3, 5.8 seconds, but since Alpina didn't restrict the top speed at 250 like BMW did, the B8 4.0 could reach a top speed of 275 km per hour. The B8 is a very rare car, since only 4 cars were built and all of them went to Japan. But the V8 A36 test didn't stop here, because in 1995 came the Alpina B8 4.6, with an enlarged version of the 4 liter M60 engine, the same engine used for the B10 4.6 A34. But differently from the B10, the B8 had less power, since the A36 had less space to work on. So the B8 had different exhaust systems and different exhaust manifolds from the B10. Other technical changes like suspension, brakes were similar with the previous Alpina A36s. The B8 4.6 was available with a, with a 6-speed overdrive manual gearbox. The power output was at 328 horsepower at 5700 rpm and 346 pound foot of torque and 3900 rpm. The performance numbers were better than the M3 now. The top speed was at 278 km per hour and the acceleration time at 5.7 seconds. Originally the B8 was available only as a sedan, but later on became available only as a coupe and one year later came the convertible and the touring. The B8 4.6 was a very expensive car with a price for the sedan starting at 122,000 Deutschmarks and the price for the coupe starting at 125,000 Deutschmarks. But Alpina managed to sell 250 B8 4.6s in 3 years in different body styles. The final A36 Alpina came in 1996 and replaced the B3 3.0. The B3 3.2 was powered by the same engine as the American M3 but of course had received the usual Alpina treatment, new pistons and model cylinder head and engine management system. The changes increased the power to 262 horsepower, 22 more than the M3. The B3 3.2 had a top speed of 260 km per hour and the acceleration time of 5.9 seconds. Like the 3.0, the 3.2 also was very successful, with a total of 342 cars being sold in sedan, coupe, convertible and wagon bodies. The A38 was introduced in 1994, when it replaced the A32. The A38 continued with the sporting lines and the style of the A32, but with a more modern look. 
The first Alpina A38 is the B12 5.7 and was introduced in 1995, one year after the A38 went into production. The engine was the same Alpina developed engine used for the Alpina B12 5.7. For a short period of time, the cars were known as, as the B12 5.7, but later on the name was changed to B12 5.7 ECAT. These cars came with a new type of electric heated catalytic converters. The 5646cc engine produced 383 horsepower and 5200 rpm and 413 pound foot of torque at 4100 rpm. The acceleration time was at 6.4 seconds, which wasn't much different from the 750, but the top speed was at 280 km per hour when the top speed of, on the 750 was restricted at 250 km per hour. Something more than 200 B12 5.7s were built, when some of them were long wheelbase. The price for the standard wheelbase B12 5.7 was 200,000 Deutschmarks. The B12 5.7 was discontinued in 1998, and in 1999 Alpina introduced the B12 6.0. The 5.7 liter V12 engine was further developed, building this way a 6 liter engine. The power output was increased from 383 horsepower to 425 horsepower, and from 416 pound foot of torque to 442 pound foot of torque. The acceleration time was lowered to 5.9 seconds, and the top speed was increased to 291 km per hour. The base price for the B12 6.0 was 219,000 Deutschmarks, and less than 100 cars were built. The fourth generation 5 series, the A39, was introduced in 1995. It was a completely different car from its predecessor. When the car was introduced, the top of the range A39 was the 528i, which came with a 2.8 liter M52 straight 6 engine, which produced 190 horsepower. But one year later, in 1996, came the 540i, which was powered by the 4 liter M62 with 282 horsepower. The M5 came in 1999 and was powered by the 5 liter V8 S62 engine, which had 394 horsepower. The A39 was discontinued in 2003, when it was replaced by the A60. The first A39 Alpina was introduced in 1996 and was named B10 V8. The V8 was based on the 540i and used the same Alpina developed engine as the B10 5.6 A34. The B10 V8 had 336 horsepower at 5700 rpm and 346 pound foot of torque at 3900 rpm and could reach a top speed of 279 km per hour, and could hit 100 in 5.5 seconds. The B10 V8 was available only with a 5-speed overdrive automatic gearbox, which was tuned by Alpina to work with their Switchtronic system. Other modifications included the Alpina typical work, like a new suspension system and other stylistic modifications. The B10 V8, produced after 1998, had more power, since Alpina tuned the engine further, but nothing crazy. Originally, the B8 was available only as a sedan, but later on a wagon version was introduced. The B10 V8 was in production for 3 years, and a total of 1630 cars were built. The second A39 Alpina was, was the B10 3.2, and was introduced in 1997. The 3.2 was based on the 528i but was powered by the same engine as the B3 3.2, which was based on the American version of the A36 M3. The car was meant to be a cheaper Alpina A39, with a starting price of 88,000 Deutschmarks. For the sedan, a 93,000 Deutschmark for the Touring. The 3152cc engine was tuned by Alpina to produce 256 horsepower and 5800 RPM, and 243 pound foot of torque at 4300 rpm. The additional power helped the car to reach 100 in 6.5 seconds and to reach a top speed of 261 km per hour. The Bitten 3.2 was in production for only one year, 
from 1997 to 1998, and a total of 266 cars were built. Alpina increased the capacity of the 3152cc engine to 3300cc in 1999, introducing this with the B10 3.3. The M3 engine now produced 375 horsepower at 6200 rpm and 246 pound foot of torque at 4500 rpm. The top speed didn't change much, but acceleration time was lowered by 0.2 seconds, now at 6.3 seconds. All the other things were basically the same as on the B10 3.2, except the gearbox which now was, in, was a 6-speed manual get -rack gearbox, when the B10 3.2 came with a 5-speed close ratio manual. And the price was different, since the B10 3.3 started at 93,000 Deutschmarks. The B10 3.3 was in production for 4 years, and a total of 239 cars were built. In the mid-90s, Alpina started working with BMW for the new diesel engines. The new diesel engines that BMW introduced in the, in the 90s were quite promising, since they combined fuel efficiency with power. The collaboration would help both sides, Alpina engineers would learn to work with the diesel engines, plus a new engine would be added on their lineup, and BMW won free publicity, because Alpina using diesel engines for the performance cars really meant something. Alpina had the opportunity to use the 3 liters 367 engine or the M67 3.9 liter V8. Alpina decided to go with the 36, since the engine was already used on the 5 series but also because such the opportunity to use the engine on the 3 series. Alpina decided to use another turbo in order to gain more horsepower. They used VNT turbos in order to have a consistent power in low and high revs. These changes increased the power to 240 horsepower and 3500 rpm and 368 pound foot of torque at 1800 rpm. These were much better specs than the 530D and were similar specs with the 8740D. The bi turbo came with a two gearboxes with a 6 speed manual Getra gearbox or with a 5 speed ZF automatic gearbox which came standard with a 530D, but this time tuned by Alpina for the Switchtronic system. The top speed was 254 km per hour and the acceleration time 7.2 seconds for the manual and 6.8 seconds for the Switchtronic. All the other options were the same as on the other A39 Alpinas. Alpina built a total of 239 V10 by turbos from 1999 to 2004. The last A39 Alpina came in 2002, one year before the A39 was discontinued. The engine of choice was the 4.8 liter V8 M62 engine, which produced 370 horsepower and 376 pound foot of torque. With this extra power, the B10 V8S had a top speed of 273 km per hour and an acceleration time of 5.4 seconds. Like with the previous A39 Al Alpinas, the B8 V8S was available as a sedan as a wagon. The B10 V8S had the starting price of 70,000 euros. The A46 was introduced in 1998 and was the first BMW designed by Chris Bengel. Like with the A36, the A46 originally came as a sedan, and later on a coupe was introduced, and in 2000 came, came the convertible and the wagon. Also in 2000 came the M3, which was powered by the S54 3.2 liter engine, with 338 horsepower. The A46 remained in production until 2006, when it was replaced by the A90. The first A46 Alpina came in 1999 and used the same engine as the B10 3.3, which I talked previously. This engine was the same engine that was used for the American A36 M3, but was completely rebuilt by Alpina, which had also increased the displacement. The power output was at 272 horsepower at 6200 rpm and 165 pound-foot of torque at 4500 rpm. 
The top speed now was at 267 km per hour and the acceleration time at 5.7 seconds. The starting price of the B3 3.3 was 88,000 euros and was available on all body styles. The B3 3.3 turned out to be a very successful model for Alpina. 1,299 cars were sold from 1999 to 2002. The B3 S had the same engine as the B3 3.3, but the capacity was increased from 3300cc to 3346cc. Like the B3 3.3, the B3 S was based on the 328i. The starting price for the B3 S was 52 euros and a total of 807 cars were sold. The Z8 is not just one of the best BMWs of all time but also but also one of the best cars of all time in my opinion. I, even though I'm not biggest fan of BMW I really love this car. The Z8 was introduced for the first time as a concept in 1997 and followed the trend of a time when everyone was trying to re replicate the designs of the 40s and 50s. Henrik Fisker, the designer of Z8, was inspired by the legendary 507 and he did a really good job with designing a really beautiful old school looking car. Sadly, the Z8 was a failure for BMW with only 5,703 cars being built. I have said many times that Alpina is a very different tuner and the car that really proved this is their version of the Z8, the Roadster V8. The Z8 came with a 5.9 liter S62 engine, which was built by Motorsport and was the same engine that was used for the A39 M5. <laughs> The A65 was introduced in 2001, when also was introduced the iDrive system, and we all know what happened after that. From the beginning, the A65 was criticized for its design, and I would say that it's not a very ugly car, but like with most cars designed by Chris Bengal, the A65 looks good from some angles and weird from some other angles. Anyway, the top of the range A65 was the 760i which was powered by the N73 6-liter V12 engine. The engine produced 440 horsepower and 442 pound-foot of torque. The A65 remained in production until 2008. The first Alpina A65 was introduced in 2003 and was the first car to use the new Alpina name system. Alpina decided to use a completely different engine from the 760i. Instead of using the 6-liter V12, Alpina used the 4.4-liter V8 from the 745i. In order to gain more power, they supercharged the engine. This was the first time that Alpina used a supercharger. Like with a D10 by Turbo, Alpina worked closely with BMW, since they didn't have the right experience for this. The supercharger increased the power output to 465 horsepower and 480 pound foot of torque. But later on the power was increased even more, to 495 horsepower and 416 pound foot of torque. These were crazy number, especially compared to the numbers of the 745i, which only had 333 horsepower and 330 pound foot of torque. The top speed was increased to 300 km per hour and the acceleration time was lower at to 4.8 seconds, very impressive numbers for a 2-ton car. The engine was matched with a 6-speed ZF dual overdrive automatic gearbox, which of course came with a Switchtronic system. And of course the car was re-leathered and had received a new body kit, which made the car to look much much better. The starting price for the B7 was 111,000 euros, a total of 1,000 and 114 B7s were built. The Z4 replaced the Z3 in 2002, 
which by the way was never touched by Alpina. Which is a sad thing, because a Z3 Coupe Alpina would have been fantastic. The Z4 was designed by Andres Warming, which now is the chief designer of MINI. When it was launched, the Z4 was available with a 3 liters 36 M54 engine, which had 228 horsepower. But later on a number of different engines were introduced, with a M version coming in 2006. The Z4M had the S54 3.2 liter engine, which produced 338 horsepower and had an acceleration time of 4.8 seconds, and the, and the top speed was limited to 250 km per hour. The Z4 Alpina came in 2003 with the name Roadster S. The car used the same 3.4 liter straight 6 engine based on the B3 SFA46. Like always, Alpina modified the engine management system, so the top speed was now restricted at 277 km per hour, and the acceleration time was at 5.3 seconds. The Roadster was only available with a 6-speed ZF manual gearbox, and of course the typical Alpina changes were, par were part of the package, but you could get the Z4 also with another package, which was known as the Roadster S Lux. This was a more luxurious package, with some special options available only on this car. The Z4 Alpina was in production for two years, from 2003 to 2005, and a total of 370 cars were built. Dance. The A60 was introduced in 2003, and the 5th generation 5 series faced the same criticism as the A65. The car was criticized a lot for the design, and like with the A65, this car looks good only from some ang angles, but I don't consider this car ugly at all. But the M5 A65 is loved by everyone, the 5 liter engine made this car so amazing. With 500 horsepower at 7750 rpm and 383 pound foot of torque at 6100 rpm, the M5 had acceleration time of 4.7 seconds. The top speed, of course, was limited to 250 km per hour. Alpina took a completely different approach for the A60. They have abandoned the V10 engine and instead you used the same V8 supercharged engine as on the B7 A65. The engine produced the same power output as the V10, 500 horsepower, but produced more torque, at 516 pound foot of torque, to be correct. The acceleration time was at 5.7 seconds, and the top speed was at 300 km per hour. In 2007, the B5 was replaced by the B5S, which was based on the facelifted A60. This car produced more power at 530 horsepower and 535 pound foot of torque, which increased the top speed to 317 km per hour and re reduced the acceleration time by 0.1 seconds. The starting price was 95,000 euros for the sedan and 97,000 euros for the wagon. A total of 726 Alpinas A60s were built. In 2003, after 14 years, BMW brought the 6 Series back. One year later, BMW also presented a convertible version of the A63. The M6 used the same V10 engine, which this time had a little bit more horsepower. With 507 horsepower, the M6 could reach 100 in 4.4 seconds. Not bad for a Grand Tour. The A63 was produced between 2003 and 2010, when it was replaced by the F13. The Alpina A63 was presented in 2005, and was powered by the same 4.4 V8 supercharged engine as the A60 and the A65. The power output was the same as the previous cars, 500 horsepower and 516 pound foot of torque. Since the A63 was lighter than the A60, the top speed was 
higher at 315 km per hour and the acceleration time was lowered at 4.6 seconds. Like with the B5, the Alpina presented a S version of the B6. The B6 has had 530 horsepower and 535 pound foot of torque. Both cars were available as coupes and convertibles. And the option list was the same, new Alpina seats and different interior changes. Also both cars had received a new body kit, but the B6S had a carbon fiber hood, something that was also used for the B12 5.7 coupe. The starting price for the B6 was 112,000 euros and was available between 2005 and 2010 and a total of 335 cars were built. The A90 replaced the Alstom awesome A46 in 2004, and the car had a very fresh design for the time, not only compared to other BMWs, but also compared to her rivals. The N3 came in 2007, but this car was completely different from the previous M3s. Since this time, instead of using a straight 6 engine, the M3 A90 used a 4 liter V8, which produced 414 horsepower and 295 pound foot of torque. The acceleration time was at 4.6 seconds, and the top speed, of course, was limited. But BMW didn't stop here, since in 2009 came the M3 GTS. BMW increased the displacement of the S65 engine from 4 liters to 4.4, which now produced 444 horsepower, which lowered the acceleration time to 4.4 seconds. The A90 was discontinued in 2013, when it was replaced by the AF33 series and the AF32 4 series. The first Alpina A90 came in 2005. The D3 was the second diesel Alpina and was based on the 320D. Alpina re replaced the BMW Turbo with a bigger one. Also, they installed larger injectors, a larger intercooler and of course modified the engine management system. This modification increased the power to 200 horsepower. The D3 had a top speed of 230 km per hour and an acceleration time of 7.4 seconds. The starting price for the D3 was 37,000 euros. Alpina offered the D3 only as a sedan and a wagon, and a total of 866 cars were built, from 2005 to 2008. It was clearly that the D3 wasn't meant to be a performance car, but was more like an, an entry-level Alpina. The first performance A90 the Alpina came in 2007, with the name B3 by Turbo. The B3 by Turbo was based on the 335i, which was introduced in 2005. The 335i was the first turbocharged petrol BMW in a long time, but this was the perfect base for Alpina. The 335i already had 300 horsepower, so this was the perfect choice for Alpina. After receiving the typical Alpina treatment and the second turbo, the 3 liter engine produced 360 horsepower. The additional power increased the top speed from 250 km per hour to 285 km per and lowered the acceleration time from 5.6 seconds to 4.8 seconds. Alpina built a total of 799 by turbos from 2007 to 2010. In 2008 came the B3 by, tu by Turbo All Road, which was based on the four-wheel drive A90. Originally, the car was available only as a coupe, but later on, a sedan and a wagon version were introduced. The B3 by Turbo All Road was available for only two years, and a total of 134 cars were built. The B3S replaced the B3 in 2010. Like the B3, the B3S was based on the 325i and still used the N54 engine that the 325i used. BMW replaced the N54 with the N55 in 2009. The power was increased from 360 horsepower to 400 horsepower 
and the torque from 368 pound foot of torque to 398 pound foot of torque. With this additional power, the top speed was raised to 300 km per hour, and the acceleration time was lowered to 4.7 seconds. All the other changes were the same as on the B3, and like with the B3, the B3S all rod was presented. Both cars were available with the all body styles, and both were in production for 3 years, from 2010 to 2013. Alpina built a total of 558 cars, when 151 cars were all roads. In 2008, Alpina introduced the D3 by Turbo, which replaced the D3. Like the name suggests, the D3 now was twin turbocharged. The new turbo, together with the Alpina treatment, increased the power to 214 horsepower and 331 pound foot of torque. The top speed went to 244 km per hour and the acceleration time to 6.9 seconds. Not bad numbers for a 2 liter 4 cylinder diesel engine. The D3 by Turbo was in production for 5 years and Alpina managed to build 1301 cars. But the best and the most interesting A90 Alpina came in 2011. The B3 GT3 was built to celebrate the ADAC GT Championship, which Alpina won with a B6 GT3. The production was limited to 99 examples from the beginning. The specs and numbers were the same as on the B3S, but the GT3 came with a number of different options, like a different body kit with different carbon fiber parts and with a rear carbon fiber spoiler. The GT3 was available with three different colors, black sapphire, mineral white and alpina blue, but you could get the B3 GT3 with the livery of the racing B6 GT3. The starting price of the GT3 was 90,000 euros. The fifth generation of the 7 series came in 2008 with a much, much better and more refined design than her predecessor. When the car was introduced, it was only available with a straight 6 3-liter engine and with a 4.4-liter V8 one. But later on, a 3-liter diesel and a 6-liter diesel V12 twin turbocharged was introduced. Also, the F01 was the first hybrid BMW. The F04 was introduced in 2010 and used the 4.4 liter engine of the 750i. The F01 was discontinued in 2015, when was replaced by the G11. The Alpina B7 was introduced in 2009 and was based on the 750i. After receiving a new set of turbos, intercoolers and pistons, the 4.4 liter V8 produced 407 horsepower and 416 pound foot, foot of torque when the 750i produced 402 horsepower and 442 path foot of torque. The power was enough to reach 100 in 4.7 seconds. And since the engine management system was modified, the top speed now was at 280 km per hour. In 2012, BMW presented the facelifted F01, and so did Alpina. The LCI, how the facelift that was known had received the better engines, and the N63 4.4 liter engine produced 443 horsepower, when the B7 produced 540 horsepower. The top speed was increased to 312 km per hour, and the acceleration time was lowered by 0.1 seconds. These were even better numbers than the V12 powered 760i. You could get the B7 also as an all road. The B7 had the starting price of 130,000 euro, and the Alpina sold 1,999 by turbos. The F10 is the 6th generation 5 series, and replaced the A60 in 2009. 
So the same language was the same with the other BMWs of the time. The M5 was presented in 2011 and came with a twin turbocharged 4.4 liter S63 engine, which was founded on the X5M and the X6M. This engine produced 553 horsepower and 500 pound foot of torque. This speed helped the car to reach a top speed of 380 km per hour and had acceleration time of 4.4 seconds. The F10 stayed in production until March 2017, when it was replaced by the G30. The first Alpina F10 was the B5 by Turbo and was introduced in 2010. The B5 was based on the 550i and used the same engine as the B7 by Turbo. The numbers were the same on the B7, 507 horsepower and 516 horsepower. Since the 5 series was lighter, the top speed was higher at 307 km per hour and the acceleration time was lowered at, at 4.9 seconds. Like with the B7, the B5 received an upgrade and the power was increased to 540 horsepower and 538 pound foot of torque. The top speed now was at 319 km per hour and the acceleration time at 4.7 seconds. In 2016 BMW B5 received her final upgrade and the, pie and the power skyrocketed at 600 horsepower and, and 519 pound foot of torque. Now the B5 had a top speed of 328 km per hour and an acceleration time of 4.2 seconds. A total of 495 B5 by turbos were built from 2010 to 2017. The D5 by turbo was presented in 2011 and was based on the 535i. The engine was rebuilt and had received a second turbo which increased the power from 308 horsepower to 350 horsepower and from 464 pound foot of torque to 516 pound foot of torque. The top speed was increased to 278 km per hour and the acceleration time was lowered to 5.1 seconds. In 2012 Alpina built a special car which offer was offered only in Japan because of some loss you couldn't get the D5 by Turbo in Japan, so Alpina built the D5 Turbo. After Alpina rebuilt the engine, the power was increased from 255 horsepower to 202 to 280 horsepower. Since the improvement was low, the top speed was only at 256 horsepower, and the acceleration time was only at 5.9 seconds. Both cars were discontinued in 2016 and a total of 833 cars were built, when 293 were D5 turbos. In order to celebrate their 15th anniversary, Alpina built the B5 by Turbo Edition 50 in 2015. This engine had received an upgraded version of the by Turbo engine with 590 horsepower and 590 pound foot of torque. This additional power increased the top speed to 328 km per hour and lowered the acceleration time to 4.2 seconds. The Edition 50 also came with uh, some special option, like a special interior and uh, Edition 50 lettering. Only 50 Edition 50 by Turbos were built. So the car that I'm deciding to end this video is the F25 X3. I'm not including the other cars that are still in production on, in, on this video, since things might change on, in the future. The only reason I'm including the X3 is because I want to talk a little about the X-Series. So the XD3 is the only X-Series Alpina. Introduced in 2013. The XD3 by Turbo used the same engine as the D5 by Turbo, which has 350 horsepower and 516 pound foot of torque. The top speed is at 253 km per hour, and to reach 100, the XD3 needs 4.9 seconds. Now, 
In 2001, BMW presented the X5 HP or the 4.6 IS. This version of the X5 A53 was basically the X5M of the time, since BMW never presented a M version of it. I'm talking about this car because it came with the same 4.6 liter engine that the A39 B10 V8 used. The power was at 345 horsepower and the top speed was around 250 km per hour. Now some people call, the, call this car Alpina, but Alpina doesn't recognize this car as one of their creations. So guys, thank you for watching, see you next time.